Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm just fixing to get on the road again. And I wanted to give you a few tips about hooking up an RV, some of the things that have helped me. One of the things is, is whenever you get up in the morning and you're getting ready to go, uh, go ahead and turn the water off. Why? Because that'll let the pressure go down and then when you take the hose loose from the deal there, it won't spray water all over you. And uh, also, whenever you get ready to leave, if you're using a... Uh, pressure regulator like this right here be sure you get your pressure regulator because even though it's hard to turn i'm gonna have to get some pliers for that but anyway <clears throat> also you can go inside now and turn the water on and it'll relieve the pressure but uh, you can also just turn this maybe i can do it with one hand maybe i can't uh, maybe i can turn it like this yeah there you go just see it's it's dripping there it'll relieve the pressure and that's fine and then another thing is you can go ahead and get start getting everything ready to uh, back my truck up and get it in position so to speak and then i have a hitch lock here and i've already got it loose and then i go ahead and lift this up and i don't use the screw down jack some of your rvs come with the screw down jacks in the front and the back this one had the screw down jacks in the back but as you can see right there i used the old manual jacks and i took the screw jacks off why because this this one's fairly low to the ground and when you go in and out of low places the drag the jacks would drag so i just took them off and i used those old jacks now this is a casita 2019 they do make a lift kit uh that they that they do at the dealership that raises it about six or seven inches why didn't i do that well because i didn't want to have another step 74 years old and steps are not necessarily my friend but the, those jacks are, are you know, they're, they're, they're stabilizer jacks right now. But anyway, to get those out real easy, what I do is I come up here to my electric thing and just, uh, let's see, this is, well, that's the light, sorry. Hmm. There we go. That raises it up, lowers it down. And let's see, should, they should come out. You know, if you lower that down. Anyway, what I do, I lower it down enough to where I can just reach up there and pull those jacks out without having to turn that little lever. And then what else can I tell you? Uh, as far as the electric, just unhook it last and, and be sure that your refrigerator switches from electric to propane. And as far as backing up with one person, you know, what I do is, I'll show you, since it's just me, you know, I've got about three feet there approximately. And uh, so what I'll do once I get ready to go, or, or to hook up, I'll, I'll raise this up higher than the ball, about three, two inches. And then what I'll do is I'll say, okay, that's about, say, three feet. Okay, then I go up here, and since I've got a leaf right here, what I'll do is I'll get in the truck and I've already, I got the seat belt fastened behind me so I don't have to listen to the ding, ding, ding. And what I'll do is I'll start backing up and when I figure, and when I feel like that leaf has moved about three feet up that way, then I'll stop and get out and check. And I do that a couple of times and I'm good to go because it'll be under the ball eventually. And what else, you gotta be sure all your vents are closed. See, there's a bathroom vent that's open there. The inside stuff is just about done. I've already got all the windows locked and everything. So it's always good to do a walk around. And one of the things you always, or you can forget very easily is your rug. Uh, but the last thing I do, I, be sure you're hooked up to your truck. In other words, be sure the hitch is hooked up to the ball here before you remove the chocks, even though it looks fairly level. If there's any incline, a, 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 a single axle RV, it, it can cause you a lot of problems because it'll move sometimes and it can, be a, it can be a mess. So the best thing to do is just leave the chocks under the wheel, those little yellow blocks there are called chocks, and just leave those under the wheels until you are, are completely hooked up in the front and then move the chocks. And now with a double axle travel trailer, I've had those, it's not quite as big a problem, but with a single axle, a single axle they'll, try to, they'll try to wiggle on you if there's any incline at all. And then once you get everything hooked up, I mean, get your, uh, get this, on the ball then these chains of course you crisscross them you know the one uh, see this one right here this this chain is from the other side 
Okay, and then you hook it up on the, on the right side here, and the other one on the left, you crisscross them. And, and you don't have to let them hang down, you know, like real low on the ground. You can you know, twist this a little bit. I usually do it three turns and lifts it up a little bit. You just don't want it dragging on the ground or where it could catch something in the highway. And as far as hooking up the electrical, that's not a problem. But what I do to check the electrical on my RV, the tail lights and so forth, I, I just hit the emergency flashers because that checks the blinker lights and the stop lights and the whole thing in one. So yeah, just hit the emergency flasher, walk back, walk around, be sure you got lights and uh, pull forward. You know, once you've got your chocks up and you're totally unhooked, electrical and water, you know, pull forward about, you know, 10 or 20 feet so you can come back and walk around your spot and be sure you didn't leave anything laying outside. And if there's nothing there, then go ahead and pull out of the uh, RV park or campground or wherever you are. Pull down the highway maybe, I don't know, two or three miles and then pull over and, and check your stuff on the inside. Be sure the refrigerator door didn't pop open or there's a cabinet door that you uh, forgot to lock or something or a window you forgot to close and a G and other things that can happen when you get in a semi-hurry. And for some reason, uh, we naturally are inclined to rush a little bit. Why? I don't know. But having said that, it's a beautiful day here in Goliad, Texas, and uh, that's all I wanted to show you. That's it. Pretty simple. Yeah, I'll, I'll be hooked up and ready to go here in about 10 minutes. Uh, we're, we're, I, all I got to do is the water and electric, and yeah, there's nothing to that. As far as going to the dump station, that's on the way out, so that's not a problem. But what else can I tell you guys? Get you a casita and enjoy your life? I guess so. Anyway, guys, adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link. Keep your health. You know, take deep breaths, stretch, walk, drink plenty of water, do all that normal drill. But that's a pretty good setup, isn't it? That ram pickup and the uh, and the casita works great. I get about 16, 17 miles a gallon when I'm towing. So, yeah, you can't beat that. And today I've got about a, a max of a three-hour tow if I go slow down to Choke Canyon, Texas, Choke Canyon State Park. So, yeah, and, and that's another thing I recommend is, is make your trip shorter. You know, try to keep them under four hours. Uh, it makes the trip a whole lot more enjoyable. Anyway, guys, adios. Bye-bye.